Now, welcome back for round number three of our gym challenge, uh, not premiere challenge, mid-season showdown. Uh, I am Dennis Geisler, that's Pikachu. Pikachu gets the name card too now. How beautiful. Uh, round number three, as I mentioned, MSS, lots of really good players here, lots of really good uh, games we've seen so far. We have David Butner and Angel Torres. David Hunter is it? I think it's right on the team. Anyways, David and Angel. Uh, David has Tornadus Incarnate, Urshifu Rapid Strike, Golden Go, Incineroar, Baxcalibur, and Amoongus. Angel with Glamora, Rillaboom, Chiyu, Amoongus, Whimsicott, and Flutter Mane. Um, interesting stuff. On Angel's side, you do have that Flutter Mane, Chiyu, Glamora setup. Lots of magic damage there, as well as Amoongus. Provide a little bit of uh, defensive support and Whimsicott to provide those prankster tailwinds as well as Sunny Day. Uh, that's and that prankster Sunny Day can come out for Chiyu as well. Um, usually you see the tornadoes in that slot, but he had three grass types on Angel's side, not to mention the Terra Grass Glamora. Which is interesting for a team that's not averse to getting sun up. Uh, and on David's side, it is the Rain Dance variant of Tornado, so we can see a little bit of Weather Wars between these two Prankster Mons. Um, Whimsicott's will go first and therefore be overwritten if they both go for it in the same turn. The Bax Caliber as well, with that clear amulet, Ice Crash, Ice Shard, Protect, or a Poison. We're getting things underway. I didn't look at all of what uh, anyone was locking in, so I'll be just as surprised as you are. Tornadus and Incineroar for David and Whimsicott and Glamora on Angel's side. So, um, neither one has Taunt, so they're both getting their uh, Prankster moves up if they want to. Tailwind is probably ideal for both sides right here. That is Glamora on that side, so Meteor, er, er, Meteor Beam plus Power Herb. Could just absolutely run over Tornadus or Incineroar. Um, Incineroar does have a fake out option as well. Doesn't necessarily want to linger in the case that, uh, doesn't, d doesn't either want to allow, uh, free toxic debris or. Ooh, Wimscott just gonna, just gonna get on out of there. Sash still intact. Chiyu will actually switch in, so there is the, uh, extra, uh, special damage. Tornadus protects. Let's see what Glamora goes for. Be a big turn. It is the Meteor Beam, so it does get that plus one special attack. Did it go for the protected Tornadus? Did it go for the Incineroar? This is a big moment here. Fully charged. And it went for the Tornadus, so not going to pick up what well, probably would have been a huge knockout. And Incineroar will go for that quick U turn onto the Chiyu. Nice little uh, chunk of damage, a neutral attack there. And we are going to leave the other two Pokemon here for David, first of all. Back switch in here as a Pokemon, uh, because that thermal exchange will get a plus uh, attack boost if it's hit by a fire type move, but instead it's going to be the Golden Go switching in here. Hit the microphone again. He's an opportunity to get a Tailwind up and potentially even protect here. Or go for something else. Maybe even a Rain Dance to try to weaken that Chiyu quite a bit. On Angel's side, uh, you can go for something like a Sludge Bomb. A plus one Sludge Bomb. Still gonna do a nice chunk of damage to uh, Tornadus, although a Terra Steel would be uh, pretty bad. And you can Earth Power. Protects all around Glamora and Golden Go, both going for their respective protects. Tornadus gets the free tailwind up, and finally, Chiyu will get a little snarl off. It's safety goggles, not uh, specs. Um, did wrong, wrong eyewear. Um, so it is not locked into snarl. Looking at Chiyu. Great guy. Good 
try to, again, go for a rain dance here if you're David. Leekwin's not super important right now, and you can go for something like a rain dance nasty plot, try to get that golden go, uh, that golden go cooking. It is going to be the Terra Steel golden go, no longer weak to snarl now. Will stay weak to fire, but, uh, not if the rain dance comes up and significantly weakens that fire damage. I see Terra's on both sides. Going to be the Terra Grass Glamora. Make it uh, flip, flip a couple of the matchups, particularly the matchup with Steel is going to be an important one. And it is Rain Dance. Weakens Chi Yu quite a bit. Golden Go, make it rain. Let's see how much this does. It does extra damage against Glamora, and even with the Terrastal, still picks up the knockout. Remember, Chiyu does lower its ally's special defense as well. And that'll be it for Glamora. Ding dong, one hit knockout. Ring the bell. Oh, the sound it makes. Heat Wave doesn't even hit Golden Go. <laughs> Uh, it does connect with Tornadus, and uh, it'll take a little chunk, but altogether, things are looking good for Angel. Or, excuse me, for David in game number one. Things are not looking good for Angel in game number one. Whimsicott will use Tailwind. Try to boost that uh, Chiyu into ability to take down. Does get the Tornadus, does it, uh, pick up that KO. And I believe that Make It Rain here will uh, break the Sash for Whimsicott. Ooh, brings it all the way down to the 1 HP from Sash. Uh, Chi will get knocked out on that. Got hangs on using its Focus Sash, barely gets there. And, uh... Now the question, how does Angel try to get out of this one? Already has lost the Chiyu and the Glamora. Only one Pokemon in the back. It is the Fluttermane, as uh, kind of expected. Choice Specs Fluttermane. With Protosynthesis, you can go for the uh, a Sunny Day with a Whimsicott to boost the... Uh, to boost that... Uh, uh, the Fluttermane even more. Would only boost its special attack, not its speed, but it is in Tailwind, so it should be faster than everything anyway. We'll have to lock into something, though, because this is Specs. It's the, it's the other eyewear. I'm just kind of actually going for the Fake Tears onto the Golden Go, which is immune to it because of that good as gold ability. And it'll go down now because the Ice Shard comes out. So, uh, a bit of a... We all forget what good as gold does sometimes. Excalibur gets absolutely throttled by a uh, Dazzling Gleam. Critical hit, that is why it did so much damage. And Golden Ghost make it rain. This might just finish off the battle, actually. <laughs> uh, indeed it does. Picks up the KO, and David going to pick up game at number one here of round number three. I can look hard enough and see what their records are. They're both one and one, I think. I have to preface everything with, I think, it's really far away, but, but I do get to see this one at least, so I got to see it. It's, it's, they're one and one. They're both one and one. An important one to try to uh, make top cut. Gotta get to three and two at least. Probably need a good resistance. Uh, four and one will definitely get you through. You, you know the deal. You, 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 you've been here before. This is an MSS, so top cutting matters quite a bit. Lots of great players here today. Going into game number two, that game number one was a bit rough for Angel. I think the big thing is uh, making sure that Golden Go doesn't have as uh, free as a free of a opportunity to get all those Make It Rains off as it did. Try to get some pressure on that one earlier. Scott also didn't get the Sunny Day up at any point. I'm not sure how much that mattered, but the Rain Dance. I'm not sure how much the Rain Dance mattered either, because the uh, Heat wave actually missed the one heat wave that would have connected with the uh, Golden Go.
Maybe Incineroar in the last game. This is Assault Vest Incineroar, which is a really nice matchup into this team as it uh, gets that extra special defense. Which is important because this team is a lot of special damage. We only saw special attackers in that last battle. Only physical attackers, actually. Rillaboom. Kind of a utility mon. Got that Assault Vest. You know how it is. Game number two. David with the 1-0 lead. If they switch anything up here. Rangel, yes, see the Rillaboom this time, alongside the Glamora. And on David's side, is a changed lead. You see the Bax Caliber uh, here with the Incineroar again. Bax Caliber. Weird matchup into this set here. Bax Caliber does have two ice moves, which matches up well against the three. Uh, Grass Pokemon and the one uh, Terra Grass. You also get hit pretty hard with Icicle Crash. Or Ice Shard, I guess. Or Glaive Rush, even. Boom's gonna fake out into the Baxcalibur. Clear Amulet, so. I mean, it can't drop any of its stats. Quick uh, fake out onto the Glamora, which will get the Toxic Debris up. David's side uh, does have. Well, I mean, if Amoongus is there, then Amoongus will be able to. Uh, reset that, but uh, we'll just get some, some early fake-outs and uh, not anything else. Then just a fake-out turn, I suppose. We all have it. Oh, actually, none of the Pokemon in the back will actually uh, be affected by it. By that toxic debris. Could make David a little averse to switching out, though, as anything switching back in would then get uh, hit by that debris. Cinnara will switch out. We'll switch into Golden Go. We saw how much it got done in the last battle. See the Terra here from Angel, I believe. Indeed it is. A Terra Fire Rillaboom. You see that pretty often as a nice way to flip a lot of its defensive matchups and uh, just make it really difficult to deal with in a lot of ways. Lamora with a Meteor Beam. Gonna give it plus one and do a bunch of damage. Let's see what it actually hits. He's going into the Golden Go. It shouldn't do too much damage. Wow, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> Ooh, the critical hit on the Meteor Beam. That is huge. And the Icicle Crash onto the Rillaboom. That is not going to do much damage at all. And the High Horsepower will do actually basically nothing to the Baxcalibur, honestly. But that damage onto the Golden Go will really matter since there just isn't too much damage on David's side, and Golden Go was a lot of it in that last game. At this point, it's going to be important for David to kind of slowly work the way out of the hole here. Glaive Rush might end up being pretty important. Glaive Rush does also double the damage you take in the next turn, which is uh, pretty bad. <laughs> Golden Gup attack. Lamar with the Sludge Bomb, reading that protect. Lots of damage into the back Excalibur. Does pick up the poison as well. And Rillaboom, not gonna go first. It's the Glaive Rush first, which will do not enough to KO the Rillaboom. And the high horsepower aimed into the Golden Go, so. The back Excalibur will linger just a teensy bit longer. Have just a bit, just a little bit of HP left. <sighs> does the Ice Shard finish off the Rillaboom here, though? Excalibur does have a gigantic attack stat. And it's poisoned now, so I guess it doesn't matter if it switches in while poisoned, because it is already poisoned. <laughs> Will Golden Go be able to, uh... Golden Go should, uh, add another speed tiers here. I'm not gonna look. But Baxcalibur is at least in a, a threatening spot where it could uh, could make it, it, things difficult for someone. Golden Go is going to be the one that switches out. Ornatus comes in. It will not be affected by the Toxic Debris, of course. Grassy Glide finishes off the Baxcalibur. Didn't go for the Ice Shard, which is a little surprising. 
and the Earth Power into the Tornado is not actually going to do anything. Nice switch out there, but a difficult spot to be in. Eh, actually, get a Tailwind to make it rain off here. Uh, this is um, Tailwind make it rain territory. And Tailwind make it rain should KO both these Pokemon here. Both of these Pokemon here. Glamora will get absolutely shredded. Rillaboom. Excuse me, Rillaboom will also take quite a bit. Good stall for, yeah, could try to get the Grassy Terrain out of the way first. Glamora Spiky Shields could also uh, be waiting for that. Hold and go protect. Let's see what Rillaboom goes for. You know the Tornadus will Tailwind up double the speed, get Golden Go faster than everybody else. And Grassy Glide was aimed at the Golden Go, didn't connect. We'll get the small chunks of healing that we get, and Grassy Terrain disappears, so no more Grassy Glide. Golden Go should be very comfortable to launch out that uh, nice big Make It Rain. Pick up a double knockout here. Ideal for the Golden Go, at least. Lamora going for the double attack, not going to get it. Tornado's going for the brain dance, I guess. I, I don't really know the point of that, but I guess it's fine. Here is that make it rain. Taking out the Glamora. Huge, huge damage. Critical hit on Rillaboom. Don't think that mattered, but... Golden Go will go down, but... Or, excuse me, Golden Go will drop its special attack, but it's still very strong. Now Whimsicott will come in. So let's have to focus Sash and Fluttermane as well. This could be an interesting spot for both of these sides. The question is, will Golden Go be able to take the hit or not? Be able to take a hit from Fluttermane or not? Because if it can, then uh, this battle's pretty much over. Also a question of whether it's faster than Fluttermane right now. And whether the Whimsicott will go for that immediate. We're going to get the Terra now from David. Whimsicott does go for the Tailwind, so Fluttermane will go a little bit faster now. Fluttermane with the Dazzling Gleam does not get the Golden Go, and that should... <laughs> The it, the bleak wind brings Whimsicott down to 1 HP, and the Make It Rain should finish it here momentarily. With a double speed drop? <laughs> Make It Rain finishes things off, and David with a 2 0 victory in round number three. Nice and clean, all things considered. Uh, had a couple of. Uh... <laughs> Couple of scary moments late in game number, or early in game number two, excuse me, but was able to stay calm, all things considered, and uh, play around that Golden Go. The Golden Go matched up very well into this team, uh, surprisingly, surprisingly well into this team. Just had super effective hits against a lot of it, and uh, able to whittle down everything else well enough to get there. So with that, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back with round number four, getting into the last few rounds of Swiss. Don't go anywhere.